الحمد لله الحمد كثير طيب مبارك في كما يحبه الله ورضا وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا بكم وبارك الله فيكم إن شاء الله I want to impart in you today some beneficial statements from the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam based upon the peculiar situation that we find ourselves in today by Allah's decree yani meaning the pandemic or epidemic or plague of virus corona or the coronavirus or covid-19 so it is taken from a beneficial work called al-arba'una fil waqaya wan naja min al-waba'i والطاعون الأربعون في الوقاية والنجاة من الوباء والطاعون 40 narration about protection and safety from the epidemic and a plague so when we look at the first narration or the first benefit as it relates to this situation we found ourselves in the believer must know and must have iman and Allah that it is from the decree of Allah and his preordainment al-iman bi qada Allah bi qada Allah wa qadarihi al-iman bi qada Allah wa qadarihi that they must have belief that it is from the divine decree of Allah and the preordainment the law is decreed beforehand. It will take place. We cannot escape it. You must understand this. Allah says in the Quran, "Ma asaba min musibatin illa bi ithnillah." There's not a calamity from the calamities except with the permission of Allah. Wa may yu'min billah yahdi qalbuh. Whoever believes in Allah, Allah will guide his heart. Yani we say her heart also. It's all inclusive. Wallahu bi kulli shayin alim. And Allah is knowledgeable of all things. Also, Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, in relation to this, In Surah Tawbah, the 51st ayah, Allah says, And say there is not a calamity that befalls upon us, except that Allah has written it for us. Maulana, and he is the one who protects us. Our Maulana. And upon Allah let the believers put their trust. Also, there's a narration that's found in the 40 hadith of Imam Nawawi, but its origin is in a Turmidi or a Tirmidhi. We can say Turmidi with a Dhamma or Tirmidhi with a Kisra. And it's a narration that the Messenger of Allah said to the uh, companion Ibn Abbas May Allah be pleased with him So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةِ لَوْ اجْتَمِعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْفَعُكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَنْفَعُكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ لك. That know that if the Ummah The Ummah was to gather upon you To benefit you in anything They would not be able to benefit you Except that Allah has written it for you and if the Ummah was to gather against you to harm you, they would not be able to harm you except that Allah, that Allah has written it upon you. And the pens have been lifted. And the pages have been dried. Also, we have a narration, and this hadith can be found, as I mentioned, in the 40 hadith of Ibn Nawi or in it. Also, we have a narration of Anas ibn Malik, wherein he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, In Idama al Jazai, Ma'a Idama al Balai. That indeed 
the greater is the reward with the greatest greatness or the 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 greater affliction meaning that the reward becomes greater when the affliction is more severe wa inna allah ta'ala idha ahabba qawmin ibtalahum and indeed allah when he loves if he loves a people he would test them faman radiya falahu rida and those who are pleased for him is contentment wa man sakhita lahu falahu asakhatu and those who are displeased then there's discontentment wa man sakhita falahu asakhatu and this narration can be found in ibn majah so we must be pleased with the decree of Allah and Allah he has the decree that is the Mashiach Kauniya or the universal decree and Allah decrees it whether he's pleased with it or not but it must take place it must happen he allows it to happen out of his wisdom so it's called the Mashiach Kauniya it must take place whether it be something he's pleased with or not pleased with it it must take place he will let it take place out of his wisdom and he has the Mashiach Shari'ya and the legislative will. Allah is pleased with all of it. He's not displeased with none of it. But it does not necessarily have to take place as an example. If someone was to steal, they don't necessarily have to get their hand cut off because it may not reach the amount. But he allows it to happen. He's pleased with that decree. So this is the first thing you must understand. We must understand that it's within the Mashiach of Allah, the Mashiach Uniya. We must have Iman, belief in His preordainment, His divine decree. The second thing we must understand is has to have tawakkul ala Allah. We must have reliance upon Allah, as Allah Taala says, "Waman yatawakkul ala Allah, fuhuwa hasbahu." And whoever has reliance upon Allah, then He will suffice this person. Surah Talaq, the third ayah. We have a narration of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal when he said the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he mentioned qal rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam law annakum kuntum tawakkaluna ala Allah haqq tawakkalahi la ruziqtum kama yurzaqu at-tayr and then the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned on the third of Umar ibn Khattab May Allah be pleased with him radiallahu ta'ala anhu A narration is found in At-Turmidhi also We said that Law annakum kuntum tawakkuluna ala Allah that, it, that indeed if you trust in Allah Law annakum kuntum tawakkuluna ala Allah If you trust upon Allah haqqa tawakkulihi a a reliance as he should be relied upon then therefore Allah will la ruziqtum kama yurzuqu yurzaqu at-tayru that he would provide for you as he provides for the birds and to the end of the narration and also Ibn Rajab rahimahullah he said as relates to this tawakkul huwa sidqu i'timad al-qalb ala Allah azza wa jal it is a sincere dependence of the heart upon Allah azza wa jal in what fi istijlab al-masalih and bring it about the masalih the benefit wa dafa' al-madari and pushing back the harm wa dafa' al-madari madari min umur dunya wal akhir and pushing back the harm in the affairs of the dunya and the akhirah this narration we find found in a jami al ulum al hukum by ibn rajab once again he said that whoever has tawakkul on allah trust upon allah and this person this this tawakkul meaning that it means who is sidqu i'timad al qalb that have a sincere dependence or reliance of the heart on Allah Azza wa Jal in bringing about uh, the Masalih and Dafi al Madari 
and pushing back the harm fil umur dunya wal akhirah and pushing back the harm and the affairs with the dunya and the akhirah and in closing Ibn Qayyim Rahimahullah he mentions in his book Madarit al-Salikin that At-Tawakkul min adham al-Asbab and Tawakkul is from the greatest of causes Al-Lati yahsulu biha al-Matloob in bringing about what is sought after wa yandafi'u biha al-makru and pushing back in that which is disliked wa yandafi'u biha al-makru so with that we say subhanak allahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik qul qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa nasfa wa tafdhibat Anything that we said that was correct is from Allah, from Allah alone. Anything we said from mistake is from the stubbing of the tongue, imperfections of the tongue, the slips of the tongue, mispronunciation of the tongue, or pure ignorance is from myself and from the shaitan. So with that we say, Hafidhukum Allah min kulli shawas kanakul fi si janatihi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.